Hello, welcome to my space. My name is Elizabeth. Today I'm making jollof rice and I'll be making it with goat meat. It's been about a year now that I've posted on my channel. Um, maybe in the future I would you know, say why I have not been here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share my videos, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see on the channel and I'll try my best to make it happen. So, this is my goat meat that I'll be serving my rice with, my jollof rice with. You can use any protein of your choice, beef, whatever you like. But I have goat meat at hand, so I just go ahead with goat meat. Now, I'll be boiling my meat with some onion, some garlic some yeah one habanero pepper i'll just throw it in it um i have um ginger curry thyme like a tablespoon um all spices and optional spice is not compulsory use it for jollof but i use it like a tablespoon yeah this is the seed then when you blend it that is the powder you're looking at um better than bouillon just use what you can you know some people don't like too much so you just use add to taste then i have long grain rice parboiled long grain rice that is what i'm using you can use any rice of your choice but i'm comfortable with long grain rice i have three tomatoes to use then i'll be adding about two habanero to my tomato stew um i'll be using ball two ball peppers the red one then i have chili chili are not spicy if this is too if habanero is too spicy you can use chili or you can just keep using peppers at all depending on how you can tolerate and I will be add, blending with some ginger and garlic, you know, one onion. I will not use the whole onions because the pepper is not a lot. I will slice it into two and share between the, my meat and my tomato paste. I have bay, three bay leaves and I'm using basil leaf. So that is, and I will be smoking all this in the oven. You can do that in the um what's it called in your air fryer too i'm using olive oil so this is my meat i already put all my ingredient and a little bit of water and i'll be boiling it in my instant pot here, I'm just trying to mix the ingredient together before I cover it up. Now, I have washed my, my peppers, so I cut them into small, by, um, small sizes and then you will see me drizzle some oil on them. Yeah, you know, I mentioned I'm not going to use all the onions for the peppers. Yeah, so I drizzle some um, oil. After drizzling the oil, I make sure it's well coated. But while I'm doing this, I did not add my garlic. But every other thing is inside. Then after coating it well with the oil, I will add my... I will be adding my garlic. You can see I'm adding my garlic. Then I would sprinkle cool some oil um olive oil on the garlic then i will toss it into the oven to bake it for some time you can either bake roast whatever works so my meat is ready now is well boiled you can fry your meat but i chose to bake my meat in the oven since i have my peppers in the oven why not i just toss my meat too in the oven instead of frying it that that works for me 
you can fry it and use the oil that you fried your meat in to cook your jollof rice then the stock from all the broth the stock from my um meat will be what i will use in cooking my rice now my my peppers is out so i will just take out the garlic from the the back the shell and then i would toss it in my blender and blend it smoothly yeah So this is where I will be adding my basil leaf, you know, I will blend it with the pepper, with my peppers. And, um, you will see me like scraping all the like the juice from the bowl is because those are flavor they will give your rice a kind of smoky flavor so that is why you see me you know trying to scrape everything and put it in the blender to blend with the peppers together because jollof rice is all about layering your your spices i mean flavor so you layer your flavor with all the things you are adding into it blend 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 and then we'll go to the next um, stage now all the prep are done it's time to cook our jollof rice so i add a little bit of uh, olive oil in my cooking in my cooking pot and then put in some onions let it to be a little bit um let it fry for like two minutes then i will add my tomato paste i added a little but later on in the video you see that i added um a little bit more because i want my tomato uh, my rice to be very red so i added more of the tomato paste you know and um i fry my tomato paste because i want the kind of it has a kind of taste so when you fry it very well before you add any other thing it helps with the taste like the sour taste to go I'm stirring because I don't want my um, my tomato paste to burn. Then now I'm adding my pepper sauce, my the, all the peppers are blended. I'm adding all my blended peppers now, and I will allow this to fry. But in this video, I didn't let it fry all the way because it was very late in the night. I think it was around 11 p.m., and I was so tired but i just wanted to make um this video so i don't allow the you can like fry this and let the oil come up before you add your meat broth uh stock and um whatever you and your water and rice but this is another method you can just do it this way fry it halfway i added a little bit of oil because um i added more tomato paste and i didn't want my um thing to my peppers to get burnt so but you can add more oil at this time but i didn't want to add more oil i don't want my rice to be too oily because at the end of the video i'm going to add um some butter for more shine so i'm trying to watch 
the oil i'm conscious of the oil i'm adding to it so i'm adding my thyme all my seasoning just dump everything in it at this stage you you check for your salt your maggi your everything you check for your seasoning and you let it um a little bit more because you have at the back of your mind that you will still add water to it your your broth to it and then you still add your rice so that will form you know your decision and at this stage you can taste to see how far with your ingredient my meat is ready so i'm just checking to see if the water is boiled then i'm adding my rice yes i did not wash my rice because it is parboiled rice but some people still wash it it's okay sometimes i wash it sometimes i don't so at this stage i will allow the rice to boil a little then because all you need for your jollof rice is just the heat yeah you just need it to steam the steam will cook it so i'll be covering my rice now with the foil if you notice you see me reducing the heat on the rice you put it to the barest minimum it doesn't matter your rice will cook well all you need is the steam yeah so you just keep checking and flipping up the rice then you taste it to see how hard your rice is then if water if you need more water you lift it up and you add water and that's it you don't have to stir your rice the way i'm stirring it I do. i'm just tired you know it's very it was around i think i got done around 12 after 12 in the night 12 a.m but the rice is so good I love my rice to be in between. I don't like um, my jollof rice to be very, 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 very soft. Soft. Now I'm adding my butter. At this point, you can add in some more fresh onions and tomatoes, and you are good to go. But I just added just the um, butter for more shine. So at this point, don't forget to subscribe. Let's move this channel. I will try to post regularly, but I don't want to promise. Um, and um, I will appreciate if you, you know, leave comments, like, and share my videos. And let me know if you tried this re recipe. Comment down below um, if you really tried this recipe. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and yeah, let me not forget to let you know, this rice was so delicious. I enjoyed it. My husband loved it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.